Today we're going to talk about battery chargers. Why? Well, I was at work the other day and we needed to power something from some rechargeable batteries and we needed a solution really quick and we didn't have anything so I went down to the local shop and I found this. It was the Varta 15 minute battery charger. Yes, you heard that right, 15 minutes. It claims it can charge these things out. It supports four AA's and it comes with these Varta rechargeable ready to go, they're called. Varta ready to go 2100 milliamp um, uh, AA rechargeable batteries. And they're similar, these batteries are supposedly similar to the um, Sanyo AnyLoop ones where they actually hold um, their charge for a long time. These ones are rated at something like uh, they can hold, they still hold 80% of their charge after uh, 12 months. So very similar to the Sanyo Any Loops. So I thought I'd give it a go. And because they come charged straight out of the pack, that's what we needed. And they did actually work straight out of the pack, by the way. But I figure 15 minutes, you can charge. Is there something dodgy going on here or is this some marvelous new technology? Well, let's check it out. Let's start by looking at the charge rate. Now the uh, Varta batteries are, uh, have a capacity, a rated capacity of 2100 milliamp hours. Now a standard fast charging rate for these type of batteries is what's called a 1C charge rate. That's one times the battery capacity. So it's 2100 milliamps for one hour. Okay, so it's 2.1 amps, 2100 milliamps for one hour hour all right now that's the one c rate but you can have other charge rates as well you can have say uh 0.1 c or often called c on 10 and this will be one tenth that uh current so it'll be 210 milliamps uh for 10 hours so let's figure out this C rate for this Varta one. It claims it can charge a 2100 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery in 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes is uh, one quarter of an hour. So that means uh, you have to charge it at four times its uh, rated capacity. So 2.1 times four is 8.4 amps for 15 minutes and that is a an effective uh, C rate of 4 what's called 4C and that's absolutely incredible check out the claim on the packet charges up to a thousand cycles and all at this 15 minute 4C charge rate that's what they claim four times more than anyone else any other manufacturers rate now they got must have some fantastic new technology in here because if they can do that, if you can get a thousand decent cycles out of these, I'll eat this damn battery. I reckon it's marketing bullshit. But if it can do it, then well, it must be using dilithium crystals or something. Or, heck, it, it, all the Chinese have figured out how to put a zero point module in here. Wow, you know, the, the, the gould of the replicators are invading Earth. We can recharge the Antarctic defense out, outpost in 15 minutes. Woohoo! And yes, you guessed it, we're going to open this sucker up and take a look at what's inside. But, for, but I can tell you up front, I know what's going to be inside here because uh, just this massive charging rate dictates several design uh, options with this thing. It's got to have um, individual charging for each battery. There's no way they're in series and because it's got four LEDs that indicates that. But, and, it's got to have, there's no way it's just a timer-based system, it's got to have an individual temperature sensor on each one. And because there's a huge fan in there, uh, it's, it can't just have the temperature sensor like inside the case, like some cheaper, lesser, slower chargers do. It's got to sense the, it's very critical, and we'll talk about this later, but it's very critical that it senses the battery temperature. So I can guarantee you it's going to have an individual um, uh, temperature sensor on one on these on each one of these terminals or maybe inside these little springy things here maybe it's inside there but I, I guarantee there's an individual temperature sensor for each battery direct contact and because we're talking about uh, 8 amps at least minimum 8 amps uh, 9 amps even per battery to meet their specifications 
this thing's going to have some heavy duty wiring per channel and it's going to have some uh, really beefy uh, transistors, MOSFETs, um, you know, solid state relays, something like that to actually get the individual control to each battery. Um, and it's going to have one um, heavy duty power supply in there as well to cater for all that. This thing requires a lot of power. Check this out, the plug pack that comes with it, it's a um, 15 volt, 4.7 amp, 70 watts. It's actually a 70 watt uh, plug pack. So this thing is going to actually, even if it's reasonably efficient, it's still going to get quite hot during charging. So whew, that's, that's one decent plug pack. All right, here we go. I've just popped the uh, back cover off. It's got three screws on it. And as you can see, this is pretty much what I expected up front. Uh, definitely these are the output uh, MOSFETs or um, what are they? Hang on. Uh, I think they're a... can't really get the part number there, but um, I'll have a look at that later. And there's obviously a micro of some sort. Um, I can't make out the number there, but... Um, that's a, obviously a microcontroller. There's got it's got some cable running over here to this backboard. And as you can see, I'll turn on the light here and see if I can get in there. Bingo! There it is. There's the internal um, sensor. There's the temperature individual temperature sensor on each of these um, uh, contacts. So it looks like it's just a little um, silicon diode or something like that, which which is probably uh, good enough for temperature sensing but there you go each of those contacts has a little temperature sensor as you'd expect and you've got um, it looks like there's two of these um, uh, output MOSFETs or relays per uh, channel and they've got this beefy strap wiring across here like this and that's pretty much what you'd expect okay I've prized the uh, top board open and as you can see here's the high current uh, switch mode supply that one's got to be supplying the four times uh, eight amps at least minimum required for the batteries and this is interesting the um, if you can see just in here that that little spring type contact I'm not sure if you can yeah I'll try and make that better there you go there's a little contact spring which comes down there and that um, when you push in this contact here it pushes down and actually enables that uh, channel. So that's actually quite neat. I really like that. Okay, now what I've done here is I've actually desoldered one of the uh, channels here and I've installed a battery on the back there. I've got it powered up and I'm going to measure the actual um, current. And let's, whoop, let's turn it on and, yep, the fan's going. And bingo, 7.6 amps I saw there, 7.6. And it's just cut out. So it looks like it was giving about 7.6 amp pulses so that kind of matches with the uh, figures that we thought we should get for a 15 minute charge